This is the DOS Soundbox H100, and there is so much to like about this speaker. Check out this top-mounted control panel. Notice anything? Single-purpose dedicated buttons. Almost. But this is really special. Watch. Bass. Volume. Treble. Analog dials. Power. Play pause. Previous track. Next track. The mode buttons have icons to let you know what they do. TF card. U drive. Auxiliary input. And, okay, this one's kind of an exception. This is just Bluetooth. I mentioned that there were exceptions, but you may not ever use them. There is a key combination that reboots the speaker, and if you long press the USB button, it puts you into TWS pairing mode. Behind this rubber access panel, there is a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port, a TF card slot, a U drive slot, and a USB C charging port. Now the U-Drive slot also doubles as a power bank port so you can charge your external devices if you choose. On the bottom of the Soundbox H100 we have little rubber feet. They may not look like much but they do isolate vibrations between the speaker and the surface of whatever you have this sitting upon. And vibration would be a concern because inside the DOS Soundbox H100 are dual 15 watt full range drivers dual 10 watt tweeters and dual passive radiators for a total of 50 watts of power. Many speaker manufacturers make bold claims when it comes to power, but DOS delivers. You get 50 usable watts, powerful, no distortion bass, no harsh sounds on the treble. You can listen to this at any volume and it's going to sound good. You should definitely listen to this speaker at maximum volume if you want to, but I encourage you to try lower volumes because DOS excels at nuance and lower volumes is where the nuance excels. Inside the H100 is a 4500 milliamp hour battery. It does take about eight hours to fully charge, but you do get 24 hours of playback at 50% volume. Obviously, if you are using this as a power bank or you have this full blast, you're not going to get 24 hours of use. But even half of that at full blast would be amazing. As much as I love Bluetooth speakers, I do like having these media options. I don't know if you have much experience with TF cards or U drives when it comes to Bluetooth speakers, but they can take forever to index, but not on the Soundbox H100. This is the fastest indexing of media that I have ever seen on any speaker from any brand. It's incredible. It you put the you put the media in and it's plays within like a second. I, I couldn't believe it. Given that the speaker is not waterproof, why do we even have this port cover? Granted, not everybody uses these media options, but you have to charge it. And the only way to charge it is with the USB-C charging port beneath the port cover. I'm tempted just to rip this thing off and it, it wouldn't hurt it if you did. Um, I just don't think it's necessary. See these metal rings on both sides? That's for a strap. And that may be an issue. Given that the speaker is not waterproof, I would just use it as an indoor speaker. But if you do want to carry it around, you're going to need a handle of some sort. And a strap is a decent idea. The strap they give you works, well, it works well if you can get it on. <laughs> okay, it just, it just snaps right on. That's not a big deal. And... Then you got to put it on the other side too. And now we have a problem. It looks like a purse. Maybe it's not a problem for you. No judgments here, but it just doesn't fit my own personal aesthetic. Now this is no accident. DOS is obviously aware of the design choice because they're using this image right on their box. And it also comes in pink. If you are in the market for a Bluetooth speaker that looks like a purse, perfect. As for me, I will just leave the strap off and you are left with a modern design tabletop speaker 
that looks and sounds fantastic. And once again, I love these controls. How do I rate the DOS Soundbox H100? This is a beautiful modern tabletop speaker with clear and easy to use controls. It looks fantastic. It sounds fantastic. It is an easy five out of five. Thanks for stopping by. Thank <music> you.